Gentlemen, trouble is on tap. And here are your servers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Brooks Jensen from Bullhead City, Arizona, weighing in at 268 pounds, Josh Briggs. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross. There are only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. And first man up tonight is Karrion Cross, who aims to make his opponents, and I quote, fall and pray. What does that mean exactly? Seems pretty self-explanatory to me, Cole. Cross has a massive chip on his shoulder. He's not just about winning. He's about dominating an opponent to the degree that they have to seek out a higher power for mercy. Even then, it may not be enough. Oh, well, that clears things up. Thanks, Corey. But big Josh Briggs is looking to prove himself in this one. And he has all the size and power you could ever want to do so. Yeah, when Briggs gets going, he's like a semi-truck. You know, a, a runaway one with no brakes, going full speed. And any opponent is standing directly in his path. And Josh is being taken apart here. If Briggs can just weather this storm, he'll be fine. My God, what a striking display. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. This could do it. He's able to kick out before two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Cross is looking to right the wrongs of his first run in WWE. How does he go about resetting his story, so to speak? Pretend it never happened. Cross has never lacked for confidence and faith in his own abilities. If nothing else, he absolutely has the leeway to dish out punishment on his own terms this time around. He should not hesitate to do so. Trapping the arms. Oh, what blows to the back of the neck. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. 
Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Close line. <laughs> Saw it coming. Makes him pay with a counter. Cross menacing the competition, playing mind games. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. And Cross has earned the upper hand here. Cross dishing out a ton of punishment. He has complete faith in his own abilities. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Every strike more devastating than the last. Boom. Big boat. And he denies Cross. And Josh isn't looking helpless anymore. Briggs isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Watch the quickness on this. Snap suplex. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. Working on their arm, and countered with a knuckle sandwich. Into the corner, this can't be good. Cross trying to get into his opponent's head. Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Stumps. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Absolute fury on his face. He doesn't like being defied and really thought he had this one here. And this one might be headed ringside. Crash landing powerbomb. Right to the ankle. So precise. Another knee drop. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give has been brought to the table. He gets out of the way. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, gets out of that by using a jawbreaker. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Another reversal, eye for an eye here. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. He got whipped into that corner. The sick, sadistic cross finding amusement in all of this. Uh oh from the top, ripped off the ropes in a hurry. And now Briggs is under immense pressure. Just abject ruthlessness. Come and here we go. Locked in! And here we go. Locked in! Crossover again! Oh, this one's... Oh, just slipped underneath. 
And just like that, he's out of the hold. He's got the target acquired, just a matter of moments. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And targeting the leg there. Carrying Cross with the final prayer. Cross might have ended this. glow of this win. Another falls victim to the devastating power of Terry and Cross. Your hate adds to his power. There is no limit to the destruction this man will cause. Behold the intimidating sight of Gunther. The ring general is ready to come out here and do what he does best inside the ring. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Well, here comes the Scottish warrior. Carrying his trusted blade, Angela, McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. The O-G-O-C in the building. Always ready for action. Aimed at the opposition like a machine gun. And representing the O-C by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, He survived some of the harshest training in Japan. When you look at Carl Anderson, you're looking at a man who has a different level of... A classic triple threat match now underway. No telling how this is going to go. Temporary alliances, sneak attacks, an all-out brawl. Place your bets now, gentlemen. Anything and everything is on the table. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. Going up. Uh-oh. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Got to find a way to get out of this. <laughs> just bounce that face like a basketball. He catches Guther with a big counter. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. 
Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. He takes control. And he barely evades. Oh, man. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Being sent out like yesterday's trash. Just goes to show you the level of animosity here tonight. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, what a jumping headbutt. That could have been it right there. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. A draped over. The Kimura. Oh, the Kimura. Oh, Kimura. And he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. Looking for a scoop slam. No. Slips behind. Inverted DDT connects. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. And he goes for the pin. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Close line in the, in the corner, and an elbow for good measure. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. Ooh, Glasgow kiss from Drew McIntyre. McIntyre getting set up. Time for the count. Timing with that reversal. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. German suplex. Anderson's toughness was called into question by that offense. Gunther coming at him with incredible intensity. And a kick. Shot to the chest. The ring general showing off his power. A power bomb. It's all Gunther's for the taking. Makes the cover. No, two count. Obviously still has some fight left. Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Here's a snapmare, followed by a knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Bottom buster! Cover! Two! No, he gets the shoulder up. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. McIntyre with a great shot. Big boot. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Suplex. Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. He has truly gotten to a different zone, you guys. McIntyre gets away from that. Calf kick right on point. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Able to evade. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Anderson, boom, with the cutter. That's it, Gunther is out. He must have seen that coming. We have seen these men on, and this has got to be it. Somehow escaped before the pinfall. Both competitors digging deep and playing ball. Drew McIntyre. Will Drew close this out? I think we know what's coming next. Into the ring again. 
jarring Enzagiri out of the blue. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, right to the throat. And listen to this place. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Vicious right forearm. Held in a perilous position. Hurled away. God. Neck breaker. Ooh. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. Anderson with the wherewithal to avoid that. McIntyre gets met with a response. Looking wobbly in the corner. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Carefully setting up their opponent for something big, something spectacular. Look at this superhuman display of power. Oh, my! Superplex. Bam! Down he goes. Ooh, knee drop connects. Does he get him here? He kicks out before the count starts. I was not expecting that from him at... Gunther with his opponent all the way up. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. McIntyre's in dire straits. And a well-executed move we just saw there. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Big forearm. Catches the leg. Goes line. Oh, wait a second. And Carl finds himself behind again. Yeah, Anderson finding himself in a tougher situation than he expected here. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Just a desperate. The Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura lock cinched in. But he is doing whatever he can to break the Kimura, and he does. Uh oh, this isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. Here's a cover. Could be it. Running interference. their breath out. Effective counter. Neck breaker. Big forearm. Oh. oh, man. Look at that. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Jumping headbutt. Nasty stop to finish it off. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Claymore connects. McIntyre might have him. Shoulders down. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. What an amazing level of fight. Still left and good there. And you know McIntyre loves a challenge, but he better not let his opponent hang around for too long. Oh, he knew what was coming. Heading back to the ring. Elbow thrown, saying not today. Right to the kidneys from behind. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, put down face first. Sharp clothesline. Back. Here's the cover for the win. Shoulder up before the count. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Glasgow kiss. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Oh. And he goes into the ring.
the WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. Waiting for this matchup and uh oh, oh, out no, of the look, right in front of us, right in front of us! Came up oh. with the okay. Brutal sneak attack from behind. Trying to give herself an extra advantage before this match starts. That's a cheap and cowardly attack. Well, this superstar is dazed after that attack. They probably don't know even where they are right now. Well, after a shocking surprise attack while entering, this match is finally underway. Certainly not. She could pin her opponent right here. And she's not done yet. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Reversal. What a counter. Ooh. Driving the face down. Clawing at the opponent's face. Oh, raking the face. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. And that looked like a rag doll. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Tossed with ease. Alba Fire absolutely lives up to the name, but I have a feeling that cooler heads might just prevail in this one. If Fire wants a better chance of coming out of this one with a W, she has to keep her wits about her and not let her emotions take control. A smart strategy. Fire's few losses have come because of mistakes made due to emotional decisions. Pull back in. Belly to belly suplex. Piper now with the upper hand. Yeah, Alba has to plot a way to get back into this. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. And set right into the corner. She finally creates some more offense for herself. Could be a chance for Niven to change the complexion of this match. So much force there. Dives right on cue. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. We see the conflicts between the... Up and... Into the driver. Did Niven end it there? That's gotta be it. Two count. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. You have to wonder, what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. She's showing signs of slowing now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Raped across the top rope. brought to a disadvantage now. Viper is holding the leverage in this match. Jumping elbow drop. Fry quick to counter. And that can be a first step towards Alba gaining control. The U-turn Alba needed in this match could have been that right there. Is it enough? The cover! This match continues on. Whoa, leaping through the air. Fire scaling the turnbuckles. Oh, it's gonna happen. She comes up empty. Big splash. Absolute domination from Piper Niven there. Doing what she can. And Piper Niven picks up the win. Here is your winner, Piper. Able to squeeze out the victory despite being waylaid by an unexpected attack earlier. And you know, I think this win sends a pretty clear message to future opponents. A message that says it's not that easy.
Awareness is the key for a triple threat where one mistake can cost you the match. Getting this competition underway as we have Fallon Henley, Nikki Cross, and JC Jane. The significance of this match being no countouts or disqualifications can't be understated. Not only do you have to worry about a second opponent, but you gotta worry about your adversaries fighting dirty and it being perfectly legal. Placed into the corner. Monkey flip. Springboard misses the target. Ooh. Able to get out of the way. Arm drag toss. Ah, oh, look at this! Hair pull mat slam! Super kick! And Jane reverses it. Right to the kidneys from behind. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. What she can end it here. She kicks out in one. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Schoolboy! Shoulders are down! Fending oh. off a two count there. She's still in this one. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled mat slam! And cross on the wrong side of the brawl there. Yeah, is that the physicality we talk about from Jane? Ooh, what a forearm club. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. Mistake made by Jane. Watch out! Dangerous intentions. Are, this could do it. Broken up. And the match continues. And she's stunned in the corner. Ooh. Oh, an overhand punch. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Boom! Vicious, downright savage club right there. Delivered with force. Golly, that had malice. Beautiful shot block. Ooh. She's going for it. This could be. And she breaks the count. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Running clothesline. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Arm ringer. For a pride. Well, that came to an end with a rough punch. Alan Henley. Alan Henley with a hoe down. Crosses out. That's it. Broken up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Into the corner now. Ah, oh, jeez. And J.C. Jane wants more from her opponent. Jeez. Oh, look at the mounted thrashing. And <laughs> all over the place. Ooh. And that move might have been Nikki's kryptonite. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Henley keeping her opponent at bay. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. What a shot. Straight brutality coming right at you. And some effective offense with that one. Every six. Will it be? I think so. Shoulders up before two. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. 
I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die. Set up. That's a hoedown. Don't say that. Did Henley oh. just close this out? And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. She left an opening. Oh, geez. Soccer style kick. Jane's got her right where she wants her. Taking it to the shoulder. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Bat in hand, stepping up to the plate indeed. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. And we just saw some serious offense. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. She's into the ring again. She anticipated that one. Pump kick on target. Oh, right to the jaw. Right to the side of the face. There's press. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Boom! Oh, fly. Shoulder tackle. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. And J.C. Jane gets all of the discus big boot. And it can all be over for Henley. Oh, my, what a splash. Oh, oh man. She covers for the pin. Almost ended it there. Good Lord, scarily close to three. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Snap mail right into the surfboard stretch. Right to Great escape. She needed that badly. Oh, look at this. in the back, just a for the pin and the win. Yes. Nikki Cross wins. Here is your winner, Nikki Cross. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack in the most dominant way possible. What a match! There's the bell, and Farouk looks locked in and ready for action. A highly decorated competitor, Farouk's always ready to dominate the competition. He goes for the quick pin. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Impressive one count, but still very early. Oh. Evading offense from behind. German suplex. Nine. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, look at this, just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Put it in position now. Fighting out. Oh, what a power slam. Farouk best known in 
WWE for his work in tag teams and factions. Will he be able to get it done tonight in a singles competition? It may be tough, Cole. Farouk won't get the rest that he normally gets in a tag match. Though, if Farouk can keep the match at his pace and manage his stamina, I think he'll come out on top. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Things weren't looking so chill for RVD during that attack. Inverted atomic drop. Uh-oh. He manages to escape it. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Well-delivered suplex. Turning his attention to the W. Rob Van Dam, couple of clotheslines, picking up the pace now with a super kick. Momentum is really on Van Dam's side. RVD is holding nothing back. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. to that pin attempt. That's using your head. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Farouk gets reversed. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Big forearm. How's that for a counter? Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Then two, a spin is fly. RVD, five-star frog splash. RVD ending this fight right there. Pin. He kicked out of two. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And Rob's not one to get too frustrated, but you have to think the sense of urgency is starting to kick in. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Nice counter from Van Dyke. Blast off. Diving cannonball. Oh, no, it's roll up. And a kick out right away. How'd he do that? Oh. Into a cover. Kick out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Split leg moonsault for the win. Two. Time to 
celebrate a massive victory here. What a win. What a battle. Oh, Wait from behind. Out with a kendo stick. What the? Why? What, what is this superstar trying to prove? Just ambushing from behind with a kendo stick. Now, ladies and gentlemen, settle in, but do so on the edge of your seat because we've got triple threat rules tonight. First superstar to get a pinfall or submission will win. There are no disqualifications. There are no countouts. And the WWE Universe has their eyes glued on this one. Backdrop suplex. Oh, and uh-oh. Wrenches the arm. Oh. Ooh. Nasty kick. And he sends him into the corner. Here's a snap mare. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Paying it right back with a reversal. Here's a snap mare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Triple threats. Uh-oh, dump to the outside. Boo-hoo! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He is revving up the engine he from the top. Strong suplex. Delivered into the barricade. Aranagi. That's an attack that takes aim at the king of strong styles crown. Double the opponents means double the danger. He'd better have a plan. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, batter up. Flying Marana! That's how you impress. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. He switches it back around. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, not to the belly. Uh-oh. Look at this! Blue Thunderbomb! I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Knees up, had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized on? Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. Great counter by Ricochet. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And the knee. Oh, goodness, what a moonsault. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. Just endless knee strikes. Just going all out with every blow. Now, that was athletic. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And Nakamura being impeded on there. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Face first with a reverse STO. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, man, that was nasty. Ah, 
God, look at this. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Skillful reversal stops Ricochet. Oh, and a double foot stomp. Oh, what a shot. Arm control here, going to roll through. The Maestro applying. Kicks out at just one. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on. Why would you stoop that one? All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Ooh, that kick will stun him. Oh, ricochet. The recoil. Nice. Bad spot for Nakamura. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. How? How did Shinsuke kick out of that? Ricochet needs to stick to his game plan to finally cross the finish line. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Down on the ground, getting pummeled by that hammer. Into the cover. Oh. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Caught with a clothesline. Left kick. Oh, snap bear. And it might be all over for Ricochet. Able to. Here he goes for the win. Oh, my God. Oh, square shot with the back elbows ends that. And there was some force on that move. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. And this match will head back to the ring. A oh, club with the run. Is he? Oh, my God. The miss to the eyes. The miss to the eyes. A oh, stop right there in the gut. King shots up. And this has got to be it. Cover. And the count doesn't even begin. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Nakamura thought he had him. Thought he had this match all right. He turns it around. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, kick to the face. Turn around Ricochet's attack. Set up in the corner of the ring. Uppercut. Jarring. Twisting cross body onto the outside. It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Counter. And now there's an opening. He returns to the ring. Clearly waiting for that. This might be trouble for him. Someone call a dentist. What a match. He can end it here. He's got it. in this triple threat. Here is your winner! What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two.